A lot of people on the carnivore diet either don't understand the nutrient density of organ meats or they don't really have access to them or maybe it's not in their budget. So I'm going to kind of summarize how to get these vitamins and minerals in your diet and what we're specifically talking about are omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin A, vitamin K2, vitamin D3, and small amounts of vitamin C and vitamin E. So I will preface this by saying vitamin D3 should be supplemented either way. Most people don't get enough sun. And regardless of what diet you're on, it's one of the most important things. It's, it's a hormone, it's not even just a vitamin. And I'll do a video talking about the supplemental form of D3 within a month or two. So the quick summary is gonna be take fish oil, take cod liver oil, possibly buy raw imported cheese, and maybe some canned cod liver or canned fatty fish. And those are foods that almost everyone has access to in their local supermarket and that almost everyone can incorporate into their budget. The only thing you might not be able to afford would be the raw cheeses and then you don't really need those it's just a nice little addition in regards to something that tastes good and something that has a high vitamin content so the fish oil you're getting your omega-3s the cod liver oil you're getting your fat soluble vitamins notably a lot of vitamin a as well as some omega-3s some vitamin d and i think there's also might be some vitamin c and e in there and for the fatty fish the canned fish whether it's oysters mussels clams mackerel you're getting a lot of omega-3s a ton of vitamins vitamin C, vitamin E, that's the main thing. Now, that's the in the world where your budget's super duper low and you can't really afford uh, or, or don't have access to a lot of foods. Now, I will say if you're on like, I'm a broke ass college student and can't afford to spend more than $40 a week on food, and if you're telling me that like buying fish oil and cod liver oil pills is a stretch in your budget, I don't really know what to tell you because there's you need, uh, there's a minimum amount of money you need to just spend on food in general, unless you're literally eating like ramen and beans and rice every day, which is, and to compare that budget to anything is completely ridiculous. Uh, but on to other alternatives, the, I guess, there, so there's other two, I guess two other realms of thought. People that really don't like these foods and people that don't have access to a lot of them. And if you don't have access to them, I have a, a video on sourcing food, Definitely going to local farmers markets and checking out websites like Eat Wild and RealMilk.com are great alternatives. And for people that just don't like organ meats, you know, if you've tried every organ meat, you know, maybe you can try pate, maybe you can try organ meats like duck liver that are really tasty, bone marrow, brain tissue. You know, a lot of organ meats taste good and are a lot different than others. That's out of their own possibility. The last alternative, which is there's a reason. The reason I'm bringing this up last is because it's expensive. You, you could just increase the quality of all the food you're buying. And buying pastured eggs, are you getting more vitamins? For sure. Do they taste better? Yes. Is it worth 10 times as much money? No. You're still paying for a primarily grain-fed chicken egg or whatever it is. Maybe they get 30% of their calories from bugs and it's slightly more nutrient-dense, but I really wouldn't invest additional money into eggs unless you just really enjoyed them as part of your diet, which is kind of the main reason I eat them. So outside of the eggs, increasing the quality of your muscle meat and buying raw grass-fed dairy is a way to have a nutritionally complete diet because by increasing the nutrient density and the quality of your muscle meat, you're getting more omega-3s, all the fat-soluble vitamins, and raw dairy products, when grass-fed, are nutritionally complete. You know, they have, you could literally just drink milk all day and you probably wouldn't have any deficiencies whatsoever. You'd be getting all your vitamins, all your minerals just through milk. That's why foods like cream, milk, are great to be incorporated into your diet. But the important thing is that they're grass-fed and raw. The, the quality difference here is important. If you're buying those foods from the supermarket, they likely have a very insignificant vitamin content due to how the animal was raised and the conditions the food was kept in from pasteurization to being on the shelf for weeks and weeks. Uh, I guess one other thing is if you have access to like Polish or Russian vendors near you, like specialty stores, they sell like canned cod liver, which is delicious and a great source of vitamins. And they also sell sometimes canned salmon roe and they sell a bunch of canned fish that is super healthy for you that you might not have access to. The cod livers are cooked, but so people on a raw diet, that might not be an option. And the salmon roe has citric acid in it as a preservative and it, they are canned. So people who are paranoid about that type of stuff. Uh, but it, it is worth buying those foods if you don't have access to other nutrient-dense foods. Uh, and of course, you could spend a lot of time online looking for, find a lot of these foods online. You know, every time I go online, I find a new, like, I find a new, like, Russian or Polish store in Brooklyn that sells this stuff. But I think I touched on everything and to sum things up, 
if you know you don't have access to food or your budget's really low, cod liver oil, fish oil, canned fish are how you can supplement those vitamins. If you have a maybe you want to experiment with more types of organ meats and try a few things out, or you can overall just increase the quality of food in your diet. And if you do a combination of all of these things, yeah, obviously you'll have opt like be at the highest level, but you know, it's like there's diminishing returns, you know, just because eating half a pound of liver a day is probably not better than eating 50 grams of liver a day. And, you know, you just need to get, there's a, a base amount of fat soluble vitamins you need to be in optimal health, and that's easily achieved. No, I mean, I, I could probably focus on that in another video, how, how many fat soluble vitamins we need to achieve, but you just kind of got to look at like the caloric amount you eat throughout the day and kind of relate that to the body of a ruminant animal in regards to how many calories you get from one whole animal and what percentage of that animal each organ meat is. So uh, before I digress too much, I'm gonna sum this video up. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I helped some of you guys out if there's anything you feel like I missed. Um, and that a lot of the videos I've made in the past where I like, I've sourced my food and stuff really tie into this, but I do have a video specifically on how to source high quality food. I will link that in the comments.